an international court is expected to approve the early release from prison of one of the architects of the 1994 genocide in Rwanda despite objections from prosecutors who claim it will undermine confidence in global campaigns to combat extremism. The Rwandan government has also made protests over what it describes as a secretive process which could see Hassan's freed along with others responsible for the slaughter of 800,000 Tutsis. It is demanding a public hearing so objections from survivors of the genocide can be heard. Nz was the editor of a newspaper, Kangara which routinely dehumanized and incited violence against Tutsis, and was a founder of an extremist Hutu political party whose leaders presided over the mass killings. Nz called for the murder of Tutsis, armed the killers and selected individuals to die. He was convicted by the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda on several counts of genocide-related crimes, and evading and abetting extermination as a crime against humanity. The conviction was upheld by an appeal court which said, Nz used the publication to instill hatred, promote fear, and incite genocide. Now, after completing two-thirds of a 35-year sentence, Nz has applied for early release. Lawyers expect that it will be granted later this month by Theodomaran, an American who heads the international court which took over responsibility for administering sentences after the individual tribunals for Rwanda and Yugoslavia were wound up. Rwandan officials have strongly criticized Marin for granting reductions in sentences and early release for a number of people convicted of genocide. The government in Kigali said there is nothing in the ICTR statute which requires release of prisoners after completing two-thirds of their sentences and that the measure is a judicially invented creation imposed without consulting Rwanda.